So his name is Ira John Paul. When you listen to his story, his story is one of, that will elicit shock and a kind of bewilderment. But now the end of it is that he is born again. He told me, as I asked him. But here he has a uh, music, a song, a gospel song that he has just released. I'm going to play. Uh, you listen to his inter- the interview I had with him and so that you'll be sure of who you are listening to. And so you are going to hear half of the song because I'm not supposed to play everything here. But the main purpose of this is that I'd like you please to, you know, follow the link to his channel, his YouTube channel, and subscribe to the channel after listening to the song and it blesses your soul. If you think that the song blesses your soul, please subscribe to the channel and like the video and also consider sharing the video. This is the bit I can do for a brother who is just upcoming. You know, um, as Christians, I think we should be able to encourage one another. Thank you so much and God bless you. In case you don't want to listen to the full interview I had with him, you can skip about, um, you know, between eight minutes of the video and then listen to the song. But then don't forget to follow the link to his channel, Era John Paul, his YouTube channel, and please there subscribe. Thumbs up the video, thumb up the video, and um, don't forget to share. Put down your comment as for how you feel, and please be of encouragement to brother Era John Paul. Thank you so much, and God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, from me to you. Shalom. Don't forget, I will still bring him to this channel for him to come and tell us the truth about his life and how he actually existed for uh, hundreds of thousands, I mean, um, you know, th- thousands of years, hundreds, yeah, hundreds of thousands of years in the kingdoms of darkness. How did he get to know about that? We'll be having him soon at this channel. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll find out if you're a Christian first, because we know that there are so many people who are into gospel music but they are singing for the devil like um recently Kirk franklin came out and said the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goats so i don't want to promote somebody what? the lion and the, the lamb will bow down to the goats Kirk franklin, hmm. Kirk franklin yeah Man, I've, if- I've, I've, I've known i've known him i've known him to be a member of illuminati long time ago long time okay. long time ago when I was right. when I was a sec- when I was in secular uh, industry. Oh, okay, okay. So you 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 were in the yeah. secular industry before now. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, to start with that, I want to I want to ask you know what I would normally ask. That means you're a, you are born again. You're a Christian, right? Yeah. If you look at the crucifix, you know, if you look at the crucifix. There, there, there are two people there are beside Jesus Christ. The one on the left, you know, was me actually. So I actually died. I was the person on the on the left side of Jesus Christ. If you can look at the picture properly, you see that I was the person that was crucified alongside with him. The the person that was at his left side was the one that went to hell. No, uh, no, no. The the one on the right, no, the one that the one that told him that he should remember him in his paradise. Okay, I was so, the okay. person. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, that is is pregnant. The is is proverbial. So I like to understand you are trying to say that that the Lord showed you mercy like He showed many of us mercy, and found you. Yeah. Exactly. 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 All right. So the the concept of Christian music. You know, um, we've also had people who went into secular music and the, the thing didn't work. They kind of switched over to Christian music. What was your concept okay. of uh, coming over to the gospel? I think, I think my words are divine encounter. Divine encounter. They say they overcame by the word of their, by the word of the testimony and by the blood of the lamb. So my, it wasn't a switch. I didn't come here because I wanted to be here. I'm here because God wants me to be here. There was an incident that took place, you know, that gave me a different uh, perspective and uh, perception and view, uh, general view about life. And that's why I'm here today. Not because I want to be here. I didn't choose this place. 
I didn't chose this place at all, at all, at all, at all. God chose this place for me. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah. That's good. Can can you can you share a bit of your testimony with us? Maybe you know who you were before before people will get to watch your music. You understand? There are all people right. are very sensitive today. Nobody wants to to bring demons into their house, into their homes. You know, if you the first that's five letters that's of, true. That's of true. Uh, yeah, the first five letters of entertainment has to do with the English word enter. Mm. So when you when People yeah. and, uh, you know, become careless of what entertains them. They can bring in different kinds of spirits. And people are very sensitive mm. today. They don't want to bring all kinds of things. So I want you to yeah, share yeah, brief yeah. of your, your testimonies. And that would help. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll do the very brief about it. But according to what I was, you know, made to understand of my existence, you know, I have existed uh, 992,000 years, you know, before I was even like uh, born into this world. Like, I don't know, before I became uh, the person that I am, that I was made to understand that. And I was, you know, so I uh, was in that place. And there were issues in my family, obvious issues that, you know, led to me having some, you know, segregations and, uh, you know, rejections and all of that due to what they perceived me, you know, to be into. So I didn't know because I didn't get myself into it. Probably that was the reason why God, you know, thought about it and showed me mercy. And God delivered me from that kingdom and uh, showed me uh, who he is and what his kingdom stands for and what the other kingdom, you know, stands for as well. So the truth came. And God saved me and baptized me in the Holy Ghost. And since then, it's been about him. You know, it's been about him. I don't know if I'm making sense. Okay. In, in other words, you are, you're trying to tell me that you've been in the kingdoms of darkness for some time. And if, even before you were born here, you, you existed at the other side of the kingdoms of darkness. Yeah, 992,000 years. How uh, how did you get about uh, about this knowledge? Was it what was told you when you were physically after you were physically born? No, here it and... was it, no. It's a reality. It's a reality to me. It's a reality to me. Wow. It's a reality to me. Yeah, it's not fiction. It's a reality. It's not you know an imagination. It's a, it's a reality. Something I have been in touch with. Well, okay. I, I think we we have short time to talk about that. I would I would actually want to know more about that. Um, so Christmas, yeah. when, when you were born and you you were growing up, you grew up to become an agent of the devil. Yeah, before you encountered Christ, that's if I'm correct. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, exactly. Mm. So when were you born again? When when did your salvation experience occur? Uh, that was 2000 and, uh, uh, 2016, November. 2016. 2016. Yeah, it's 2016. Approximately six, six years now, right? Six years. Ago now. Yeah. Okay. Your, your um, accent, have you, have you lived in the state? Because I must ask. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah. All right, so what what is the title of the song? Uh, Till the End. Till the End by Ira John Paul. Till the End. Yeah, okay. Till the End. All right, can can you can you do a little bit of, of it? You know, as you are seated there now, can you just do a little bit of All it? All right. Music Playing next is Ira John Paul, Till the End. He will never leave your hands behind. He will never leave my hands behind. He will guide me to the Hey 
Well, anyway, John Paul, uh, your, your, tes- your your testimony is amazing. Uh, I, like I said, we we'll have to do another another longer meeting because I'm interested. Yeah, that, 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 that will be very useful. That will be very useful. I want to hear your that story. Be very useful. If you wouldn't mind, we put it also on YouTube. Well, I'm glad course, you found course. Christ. Uh, I'm glad Christ, you. Christ found you. And um, I, I I don't have to tell you what what it entails to come out to have come out from that side to this side. You know, you're going to face a lot of things. Um, you're going to face poverty first. You're you're going to suffer so many things, and um, they will also want to dash you free women so that they can get back at you. I'm, I'm very <laughs> certain you know that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 